Hello to all viewers, Update 3.7 has arrived and I'm here to let you in on the scoop if you haven't heard about it yet. It's not a very big patch, which is why it probably caught me by surprise since it's normally a few months between patches. But no, this time it's just a few weeks past since 3.6, where card battles was released. In this patch we finally get some of those new cards I was hoping for, Yippee and Hooray. However they aren't handed on a silver platter this time, unlike the original 64 cards that were unlocked by having said upgrade bought on the classic mode, these new cards, called veteran cards, are unlocked by winning a certain amount of card battles in a single week. At least that's the case with the currently shown new cards, which there are two of. Let's go over each of them shall we? The veteran card for this week is the 2-1 Sniper, which costs 1400 to build, and its Bloom Sand counterpart is some Space Tree Grow Leds for 750 bucks. So cost-wise the tower is actually pretty good, considering the .50 upgrade itself costs over 2000 However I probably don't see myself using this card because it has one single flaw that many other cars share. No combo detection. And that's big because of all those mid-game rushing cards that contain combos, like the Maelstrom's Camgro Zebras for example. Combo popping power would really help there, and for its price, that would mean it would be the cheapest form of combo led popping power you can get, which currently belongs to the Juggernaut that costs a whopping 2.3k. As for the balloon send it's pretty much the same as the Juggernauts except the leads have regrow so it would actually make for a decent alternative granted you have something else with massive popping power. But nah, for me, no combos equals no use. I'm still gonna try to unlock it though since it's nice to try for a perfect collection, plus it's a measly 10 wins to get, which is nothing especially if I played on an easy noob arena. I chose a middle ground arena this time, because I don't really want to waste time playing on the highest arena, running into an experienced card battles player on the long map, then end up going to epic late game for a 50% chance to win it. I just want the 10 wins and be done with it, you know what I mean. Now that leads us into the second card they revealed, the frag bomb. For $1,400 you can get a tower that sucks, I don't think I have to explain it much further. And the pinks. I like how they added the round of unlock because it's very helpful in knowing how strong some balloon scents are. And I think this one kind of sucks, the income gain is alright but round 9 just for that, I might as well use another early game card then. 30 pinks isn't likely to kill your opponent either at that point. So that leads us into the question of, how the hell can we unlock this card so we can add it to our collection and let it collect dust? Well it's next week's card as you can see here, so once the week is over I assume I'll have to win another 10 games to get the frag card, hopefully less wins though since it's a much worse card than the sniper. And once the week is over I have no idea what ninja kiwi will do to the sniper card, I highly doubt they'll get rid of it permanently so I can only guess that either they'll bring it back for another weekly cycle, or they will shudders place it in the card store to unlock with real cash. But wait, they're actually already doing that, if either you're too lazy to grind 10 wins or you've been watching Bloom's videos from people with millions of subs, then your best bet to unlock the card is to pay 279 for it. The number may change depending on where you live, I know a few people in America who have. It for 199 but I guess with the weak Canadian dollar they made the price super inflated here. So think about that guys, for a measly 2 bucks or so you can get your hands on the incredibly OP frag bomb card, if that ain't pay to win then I don't know what is. Next patch note on the list is some balance changes, Ninja Kiwi finally heard us out on the complaints of card randomness and so they solved a bit of that by making it so once you discard a card, it will no longer have a chance to appear next in your queue, cause if you discard a card that probably means you don't want it, right? And now this change makes it slightly easier to find the card you're looking for, with a 1 in 9 chance of appearing compared to 1 in 10 before. 
Not that it makes a big difference, I'm still hoping Ninja Kiwi will change up the algorithm for drawing cards, but as far as I've heard they won't be changing it, which is a bit of a shame cause luck can still sometimes bite you in the ass. I think I hit a game earlier today which isn't in this video, where I was on a water map and brought the nuclear sub, yet it didn't even show up until round 16 or so, 6 rounds too late. Don't tell me I didn't recycle because I certainly did a lot, but I was just that unlucky to not have that single card pop up after 40 plus tries. That game will be in the next video, so I'll continue talking about it then. Moving on, monkey boosts have finally been nerfed to make towers attack 1.8 times faster instead of 2. A well deserved nerf I must say. I'm surprised it took Ninja Kiwi that long to realize monkey boosts are too OP. Lastly, we have a bunch of irrelevant buffs for irrelevant towers so I don't need to explain much more than that. Well actually the balloon chipper buff is slightly significant because that means the Super Vic upgrade is now a few thousand dollars cheaper, aka it's now easier for people in competitive and classic games to stop those round 22 massive rushes I guess. And that is the end. Hope you enjoyed the quick patch rundown along with the gameplay underneath. Obviously 10 games will not fit into this video unless I speed it up to a point where you can't even tell what's going on. So in the next video I'll probably show you the rest of the matches needed to unlock the sniper card. As per usual remember to smash that like button and sub for more battles content. Don't close that browser just yet either. While the commentary may be over I must tell you this current game is hype, so maybe you might want to wait till the end before doing so. Trust me when I say that, you don't want to miss it. Have a veteran day.